so that's not gonna work. Feels a little bit like a failure. I'm trying not to let it, but I think it's just an experiment that half works and it was just the wrong placement of this tarp. All right, so today we're gonna go check the field garden. The field garden is an area that we tilled up with a neighbor's tractor, so it may not be the best spot, but we're gonna look at it today. We covered it with silage tarp, and so we're gonna peel that back, kind of clear some weeds off of it, and see what we have. Let's go do this thing, I'm just tired of talking. experiment that half works and was just the wrong placement of those tarps and I knew that going into it. Uh, I just thought it would be remedied um, by taking care of it right and we probably could over the course of three or four years but I, don't know, I would rather start from scratch and let that grow back to grass. We have plenty of land to work with. Super thankful for that and we'll just let this scar heal. Hell, but the, the land is just we pulled up the tarps and it's it's just there's it's way worse in person but and this this side's even even worse so we do have a new plan and we'll go from there this is my uh, half optimistic half disappointed sound so there's that right. we'll do this again tomorrow But we just we don't want to not be real and you know not everything is super pretty and we get frustrated and do the wrong things. Um, the, the principles work. But. All right. Now it's morning time. It's nice outside. We've got the chickens moved and we're gonna start a new field plot. We're gonna start a new garden. The old field plot just had poor management on our part and we learned a lesson with this particular land just tractor tillage is not going to happen so we're gonna i don't know it's just a very low it's a low area we're gonna try a new spot we think it's a little bit better drainage and see how that goes but we're gonna do no-till silence tarps over for two to three weeks and just go from there but that's really easy just like gotta get the tarp up move it get it placed down and we'll be good to go but i'm trying to get all this done before my dad comes so we'll see if it does maybe he'll help us if not um, and I don't know if he's gonna let us film. You know, I don't know if he wants us to. I mean, he may not care, but because this isn't like our normal, our normal gig, so we're still kind of getting into it. Yeah, we're gonna put the silent tarp on our garden. Future garden, just some. I whipped my tool. Some grass. The chickens were on. Henry's. Gonna help. Given what we know now, two years later, and what we um, some resources we have, we're gonna we're gonna do a no-till garden just a little bit closer to our house. You can see here on the there's that we're gonna put it a little closer to the house. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is just build up. We're going to do a no-till garden, um, and we'll invite you guys along 
we'll see if it works. Um, so we've laid a giant silage tarp and what that will do is in two or three weeks, it will just be a clean soil bed. Um, weeds, weeds and weed seeds will just die. Um, there'll be some extra bug activity in a good way. And it'll just be a standard crop garden, market garden. Um, just because it's easier to buy materials that way, we're gonna grow anything that, we're, that we just don't have room for in our, our kitchen garden, in our shade garden. Uh, just more production. We want, we want to grow for friends and family. We'd love to sell some. That's, that's eventually where we want to go. But first we got to see if it's possible. So we're going to, um, we're just trying to figure out our systems. We've been here for, so we've been here four years and um, we're just trying to grow. We're trying to grow our own food. That being said, I hope you guys follow along for the journey. It's going to be, it's just our lives. I'm just recording our lives. Um, it, Felt the other day when I was filming, and you might have, I was just frustrated, I was disappointed in myself, and just, um, just, for me, this is just documenting where we are so that in 10 years, you'll be like, oh, remember, remember that garden we had that didn't work? Remember when we really pivoted and it did work? Who knows?